the 10 must find geocaches in Ottawa. At number 10 is the Canadian Museum of Nature Virtual Cache by Honeyman. It is a ghost cache where you will have to answer an easy question and attach a picture of yourself on site. You must go to the museum to get the answer to the question, but it's an easy walk from downtown. A great cache for the family and a great museum to visit. Logging this virtual cache does not require entrance to the museum. The GC number for this cache is GC9P8ED. Number nine is just west of downtown. It's another ghost cache called Holocaust Mo Monument by the Chaos Crew. You must answer five questions uh, from the information found at the monument. It's another great one for the family. The GC code for this one is GC. 7B8NE. Just east of downtown is the number 8 cache, an earth cache called Rideau Falls by Weather Vane. To log the find, you must answer five easy questions and include a picture of yourself at the site. The GC code is GC1TEZ2. Tiptoe through the tulips by Zira is at position number six. It's a multi with seven waypoints where information must be obtained to solve the easy problem to get the final coordinates. It's in a beautiful area around Dow's Lake, a favorite during the Tulip Festival in the spring. The GC code is GC52D2B. Just across the Lord Elgin Hotel, and across the street from Ottawa City Hall is Crashing Photos-Confederation Park by Photocrasher. It's our number six in, our, in the countdown. It's an easy, regular cache and great for the kids. The GC code is GC2HGMT. We are halfway through the countdown. And if you like this type of information, let me know what city you would like to see featured next by leaving a comment and subscribing to see when your city or area will be featured next. And if you'd like, also leave me the 10 must find caches in that area. Number five is a kid's favorite, Call Mama, a virtual reward cache by a straight up cacher. It's an easy one to log as all you have to do is take a picture of yourself in front of the artwork and include it when you log in the find. Its GC code is GC9P7EH. Number four is the most difficult cache in the series and an earth cache. It's called Rideau Canal by Weather Vane. You must answer eight questions to log this find. Most of the answers can be found on site but some will require some searching on the internet. Its GC code is 1TKMW. Oscar Peterson by HMF213 is the third on the list and our third ghost cache. A simple question must be answered and a photo of yourself at the location must be provided to log the find. Its GC code is GC 9P6TX. In second place is Wave the Flag by Pepper Way. A virtual cache where you must capture yourself holding a Canadian flag on the webcam across from Parliament Hill. This one might require some more planning, but it is well worth the time and effort. Its GC code is D838. And finally at number one is Tour de la Paix Peace Tower by Cashmeyer00. You will have to solve a number of questions to find the final coordinates at the cache. Its GC number is GC2M4KC. And I do have a bonus cache. While you are at the Rideau Falls cache, you might want to get this cache. It's called the Gunner's Cache by Blue Lamb03. It's an easy, regular cache at a very interesting location next to the falls.